This should be fun in the bantamweight division. Let's get to it with our tale of the tape. It is brought to you by Jocko. Nate Enders versus Bryce McKeever. Round number one. Explosive start from Nate Enders. He's in the white trunks. Bryce McKeever quickly on defense and caught with that. He's in the gray trunks. Our fight clock is brought to you by Bud Light. I told you this would be fun. We're not wasting any time here in this one. Keevers came back after the flying knee attempt of Enders with some good shots, but then Enders was able to land a good strike then almost dropped McKeever. They both settled into the fight just a little bit now. Nothing on that kick. McKeever trying to take control of the center of the cage. It's Enders coming forward. And really hitting the belly to belly was McKeever. And there we see some of that power and athleticism he was talking about from his strength and conditioning training. He was able to lift Enders clear off the ground there, although he didn't finish the takedown. Keeper to the inside, right back to the outside. Enders pushing the tempo, and McKeever coming forward. Enders fight out of the southpaw position with those hands very, very low. McKeever stocking him with his hands just a bit higher. See if that has anything to do with who lands the best shots here in the beginning of this fight. Switch kick from Enders. McKeever landing the left hand. You see McKeever to the inside with his punches, then back to the outside, back to the center of the cage. Big right hand, that rocked Enders. Another big right hand and another. McKeever opening up with his striking lands. That right hand flush on the jaw. It still Enders walks through it, walks forward. Both fighters swinging big. 3.05 remaining round one. Not fully on the suplex, but he did hit the takedown. Again, the elevation. Close guard now, now open guard from Enders. So far, the difference in the striking here, Sean, has been that Enders is throwing one strike at a time while McKeever's putting together combinations. A couple of those good shots he landed were his third and fourth strikes in combinations. That's going to up your chances of landing a good shot when you throw punches and bunches. Episode two of Dana White looking for a fight is available now on YouTube. In this episode, Dana, Matt, and Nick head to Alaska. Don't miss Dana White looking for a fight. See the left foot on the hip of McKeever. And just trying to explode out, trying to stay active on the bottom. McKeever trying to walk up the body of Nate Enders. McKeever's being very tactical here and trying to control that inside leg of Enders. He's trying to use that to pass, and Enders looks like he's going to get it free and try to shut that down, which he did. And there's a short, sharp elbow from the bottom, fighting out of open guard. Keever posturing on his knees, 150 remaining round one. Close guard now from Nate Enders. Keever did a great job stand up at the beginning of this fight, was landing some really good shots, rocked Enders a few times, and was able to hit a takedown, but then hasn't been as active since we hit the ground. Enders been the busier fighter, even though it's from the bottom, and McKeever has been content to sit in his guard. Enders back to his feet, McKeever backs off. Jump knee on the bicycle knee, nearly got through. Then the left, the right, the left hand. Keeper landing a lot of punches on the inside. I'm not sure if Enders is hiding something under that beard, but he can sure take a punch. He's taken several right on the button from the Keevers. Awkward position, Enders gave his back, spun. A time call by Rob Hines. Great job by Hines. We're back to action. Time in. Round number one resumes, 55 seconds remaining in the opening round of this bantamweight fight. Nate Enders versus Bryce McKeever. Both fighters looking for their first pro MMA victory. Left hand for McKeever. <laughs> McKeever is doing a really good job here on the feet with this range. He's in and he's out. He's throwing multiple strikes. Enders looks comfortable, but he's only throwing one strike at a time, trying for a big knees or big kicks or a big punch. And so far, McKeever has been able to have the edge on the stand-up because of that. That's the step of McKeever. There's the right hand from Enders that got through. Level change from Nate Enders. 
High on the single leg. Good counter knee by Bryce McKeever. And that's the end of round one. And you see the bounce in the step of Bryce McKeever. Nothing on that head kick from Enders other than sending a message. Good left hand from McKeever back to the inside. It's a good example there of how the corner can change a fight in the victory cage. Instead of a rounded cage, he's able to pressure Enders, push him into a corner and force a clinch. Now trying to use his wrestling to get this to the ground. With the wastage. McKeever. Watch the back of his head coming around. It's nicely defended by Enders. Ford confidently hands low, now brings his hands high. The fighter's very measured. And they're showing signs of panic. They both look to be in really good shape, too. Neither one looked like they're gassed at all from that first round. Quick hit of the single leg by Bryce McKeever. The open guard of Nate Enders. Last time McKeever got a takedown and ended up on top, he wasn't able to do much damage. Ender seemed to be the more busy fighter from the bottom. Let's see if McKeever changes that up here and tries to use more strikes to try to pass the guard of Enders. UFC Rewards is here. Earn points by doing things you already do. It's just that simple. Go to UFCrewards.com to learn more and get started today. UFC Rewards, get as good as you give. Left hand from Enders. 315 remaining round number two. to the body. Body kick landed by McKeever. Oh, that was a good one, too. You can tell when it doesn't slap and you hear more of a thud that those really hurt the body. Just missed with the switch kick. McKeever again coming forward, hands high and tight. Less bounce on the step from both of these fighters, both of them settling in questioning whether they want to step into that pocket and have a big exchange, but definitely a lot less movement from these two as we get halfway through the second. Straight left hand lands by McKeever. There you go. Rust him on the chin. Hands much lower as you see for Nate Enders. He's taken some pretty big shots in this fight. He's walked through every one, Joe. And that apparently built his confidence to keep the hands low, but there he is taking more shots for having them down. More big shots. That's his slip, but then he eats the right hand and another. The keeper trying to unload. Ender's looking to counter. That was not a flash knockdown. Ender's lost his footing. But he did eat some big punches in that sequence. He's got those hands low, and he took more damage for it there. McKeever had him backed into the corner. Looked like he had him a little hurt. Chose not to get aggressive and go after him. Now hunting for more wrestling. Looking for the single leg is Bryce McKeever. One minute, 35 seconds remaining round one. With emphasis, but you see Enders right back to his feet. Sean, I tell my fighters all the time, you want to pick somebody up and slam them as hard as you can and make it look cool, that's great. They're going to scramble right back up because you have less control. If he was able to just lower him there and keep control of the legs, Enders would have been stuck off his back. Unfortunately for McKeever there, instead he used a lot of energy to pick Enders up and didn't pay off. The jump knee didn't get through, but the right hand did. Enders again walks forward. If anyone ever questioned the toughness of Enders, they're not going to after watching this fight tonight. There's the level change, the shot, and the takedown from McKeever. Enders trying to sit up, explode back to his feet, and he does. Now close guard guillotine on the jump guard attempt from Bryce McKeever. Doesn't have much of an angle there. I think McKeever's going to be able to defend, but with short time left, McKeever decided to go for the submission there at the end of the round. And there's no worries, no panic as he pops his head free. Looking for the armbar from the bottom is McKeever. Enders right back to top position with the hammer fist. Now big right hand. Enders looking to turn and 
win this fight. Relentless shots, closing seconds, round two. Enders looking for the finish line, can he reach it? Rob Hines taking a really close look. Now taking the back is Nate Enders. More shots with the left hand. And that is the end of round two. We move to the third and final round of this bantamweight fight. Show your scorecard. I'm giving that round 10-9 to McKeever, even though he almost got finished at the very end there. Other than that, he controlled the majority of that round. It almost turned me, but just the 15 seconds wasn't able to do it. We are throwing you in the deep end of the pool on your judging. I'll never be hired as a judge <laughs> after this. You're doing great. No matter how you score a round, half of the audience is going to be mad at you. Just keep that in mind. Outstanding fight in victory's bantamweight division. Nate Enders versus Bryce McKeever. Bryce McKeever there using some slick hand fighting, able to control the wrist of Enders from the side. That's what allowed him to move behind him, now taking the back and looking to control from the rear mount. And the takedown from the waist cinch, now looking for the rear naked choke with both hooks in. McKeever in tremendous trouble at the end of round two. Now putting Enders in trouble here at the start of round number three. A lot of hand fighting from Nate Enders. McKeever still both hooks in. Nice by Enders, clearing one hook of McKeever. Posturing on his hip, but you see McKeever again attacking for the rear naked choke. One hook in. Can't find the second hook, lost his position too high. McKeever was able to transition straight to a dominant position off that takedown. Got a little too high there on Enders. Enders as scrappy as they come. Ends up in the top here with 320 left in the third round. McKeever hunting for a triangle, couldn't find it. Now a high close guard. Kiever told us he's very comfortable off his back, but at this point in the fight, I'm not sure this is where he wants to be. Enders going for the can opener. Just a bit of discomfort for Bryce McKeever. Trying to make him move. And that's the only reason I would ever use a can opener, which I have done, is to force the person to move, or, or even better, force them to open their guard to try to create space and relieve that pressure, and then you can use that to pass. To me, it's like an ear slap. It's just an irritant to get someone to move. Another Dave Rickles reference there with the ear slaps. Keever <laughs> looking for the up kick and he finds it. And there's Aiden now going back to top position in the open guard of McKeever, but that landed flush. I think he hurt him there a little bit. The way he came back down into the guard looked like it wasn't 100% by his own doing, like he might have been off balance a little bit and rocked from that kick. Looking for the arm bar. Nice step over to defend from Enders. Full mount, and there's the tap on the guillotine. From the full mount, locks on the guillotine, and Nate Enders in a back and forth fight claims victory. Your winner by submission via guillotine choke, Nate Nice Guy.